Hello, and welcome to another vlog with your host Damon Standing, and uh, it's a continuation of last week's, uh, last month's uh, Puggly vlog um, about Justin Puggly v Bad Medicine, although we're not actually going to talk about Puggly really in this one, uh, we're going to talk about what I set up to talk about, which is not going to be fun, but it's uh, basically mental health and creating slash art and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yes, I've had my, um, I've had my fair share of that, and I'm glad to be moving past a lot of it. Uh, some may, may say that this is just kind of a, um, I don't know, I'd, I'd say it's pretty heartless to think this is a kind of a pity video, uh, fishing for something, but, um, no, I want to make this video because I want to... And make sure that anyone else who went through the, who's going through a similar thing or has gone through a similar thing realizes that it's it's probably quite normal in uh, art arty types but um but there are ways to kind of make sure that it doesn't get out of hand um so yeah mental health and creativity so um I guess, um, I guess this would have started for me, um, the, the main way that I do have a problem when I'm creating is, uh, I have a tendency to overwork, um, to the point of exhaustion, to the point of, uh, insomnia, maybe? I don't know. Uh, but I think what, what a lot of people who aren't, necessarily that creative uh, in kind of this workhorse kind of I gotta make stuff I gotta make stuff way mana don't really understand is that there is a compulsion to create and um, you've got to keep it in check but you also got to satisfy it um, if you don't satisfy it you feel like your life is meaningless um, if you don't keep it in check, but you are satisfying it, maybe you'll overwork yourself like what I did. Um, so at the end of, uh, creating Jefferson Puggly B, Bad Minnesota, I, I literally just fell apart. I, because I hadn't dealt with anything that had happened to me in years. I'd just been drawing and it'd been keeping me going. And I just fell apart. And, uh, but also the th the reason why it was keeping me going is because I I have this obviously have this urge to keep on creating, and when I didn't have the opportunity to do so or felt like a like a project was finished, it wasn't um, that wasn't being satisfied anymore. But it was it was the thing that I needed. Uh, so then you, so also you've got I guess the um, Kind of the side of things where you you'll overwork um, just because you you got your job. Um, I'd step away from from employment for a while um, uh, because of so many other reasons too, and I'm bloody glad I did. Um, just to try and figure some stuff out. Um, but you got your regular stresses. You got your reg. You might have your regular job, but you also might have your creative side of things to do. So, um, like to put stuff in a horrible context, I used to when I was doing Tasman Road. I used to happily, when I was younger, do like fourteen hours. To sit down and literally draw for fourteen hours a day, which is too long, far too long. I've and gradually, I think when I when I was doing Jefferson Puggly v Bad Medicine. I was probably doing an eight hour work day, nine to, uh, kind of nine to five ish. It wasn't nine to five, it was, it was a bit longer than that. And, um, and, uh, then going home and then drawing until like one or two in the morning. Cause I couldn't stop. Uh, it was the only thing that I, that made everything feel okay, which is obviously a problem, but living alone, no one, no one was there to keep me in check. Um, at all, and I just gradually just tired myself out and out and out. And when it became the winter and I wasn't seeing any sunlight, 
Um, but it just uh, it, it just ended up in just going horribly wrong. Um, so obviously that's not a sustainable way to live. And I, I know you'll the the trouble is as well. You you you'll have a, a lot of um, the motivational types or the the really really high achieving types um, who do, who can work that hard, um, but not everyone can do that. And I think you have to realise that not everyone can do that. You can work as hard as you can, but you can't work. You can't work to the point of uh, it being actually detrimental, detrimental to your mental and physical health. Um, then, to be honest, it's going to be a mental health first. But it, the moment it starts really affecting your physical health, that's that's like really big red flag, really big red flag. And I'll admit, I do work too hard. Um, even that we sound strange because I don't have a a job. I'm not being paid to exist at the moment, but uh, or at the time of writing this video, but I'm still doing like I have goals, I have a bloody large set of goals, and I work on them very, very hard every day, and my mind is like very, very much active, but it's too active i I need to I need to be able to uh, calm down, and I think that is a big problem with a lot of creatives is that you've got all these ideas going around your head and you don't have enough time or energy to be able to sort them out, so they just keep on going round and round and round. Um, and uh, a lot of people would say that's ba a bad thing, but I don't know, if, if, for example, I mean, creative stuff isn't just art and it's not just music, like maybe someone's got an idea, I mean, the, uh, the Fear of a Table was creative, um, it was dreamed up by Mendeleev, um, but who knows, someone might might literally dream up the cure to cancer and you wouldn't say that that was a, not a good thing to have happened because of monkey mind, as some people who um, who champion uh, uh, mindfulness as the ultimate desire. And I'm not saying that mindfulness is bad. Mind mindfulness is a good thing to have, but... Um, it's not the be all and end all and it's not the only mode of existence. And I think especially in the modern day you're you're bombarded by so much stuff. Especially if you're a creative type that makes you feel completely inferior. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't create because you have to create because you're is a personality type and you've got to fulfill it in some way um, I don't think it's I don't think there is an obvious answer other than create and try and survive being alive which is difficult and I'm very very lucky to have a family who kind of understands that um, I have a, I have a, a large set of goals. And the, the weird thing is, it's like, um, a lot of people would say, oh, you're working towards a doctorate. And um, it seems like it's a sure thing. It's not. It's not a sure thing. There's no guarantee at the end that you're going to get a doctorate. In the same way, there's no guarantee if you spend five years writing a book that it's going to get published. Uh, but it's your best bet, and it's not, it's as long as you actually keep the checks in place obviously with doing a book it's a lot more difficult um because uh in, in phd you have supervision and if your supervisor's worth anything then they'll make sure that you have got the phd at the end because otherwise effectively they're just nicking money from their sponsors but um yeah it's um Creativity is a weird thing, and it is a burden. Um, it can give great things, but sometimes it does come at a price. But if I can give anyone advice with it, is that I would say, if you're a creative type, schedule your breaks, 
No, if you're creative and conscientious, which is what I am, it's I'm very creative, but I work really, really, really hard. I, I very rarely procrastinate. Schedule breaks. Make sure you don't tire yourself out. If you get to the point where one of your eyes is twitching all the time, maybe take a break. No, definitely take a break. Um, and no, not everyone's going to understand. If you can find someone who understands, great. That's what you need. You need some. You 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 need to have someone who. Well, you don't need to, but it's very 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 helpful to have someone who uh, understands what the creative urge is and what it compels you to do. And just remember that there is a lot of help available if you're going down a dark path. But the best thing to do is keep your eyes open, keep your ears open, listen for the help. Anything anyone says, just think twice about what is being said to you, because it may be a, it may be holding out a hand to help. And really, really, just look after yourself, because it is difficult, and um, it can be fatal. It's, 